Before we jump right into the video, I'd like to shout out to the sponsor, Love Me Hair. They are sponsoring this portion of the video, so shout out to them. They sent over a U-part wig. Oh my god, you guys, it is my first time working a U-part wig. I usually see it everywhere on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. V-part wigs, U-part wigs, but I've never tried it because my hair is on the thinner, finer side, and it's also texturized, so... I'm so scared of leaving my hair out because of breakage. It's already like thin, so I always get nervous, but I wanted to just give it a go, okay? So they sent over their U-Part Quick and Easy Affordable Wig. I have it in the length 24 or maybe 22. I'm not sure, but I'm going to link in the description box below. I picked a straight texture because I just wanted to start off light. I have never, ever installed a u-part rig so i just didn't want to overdo it but yeah onto the install it was quite easy it's straightforward all you do is get it out the box you cut out the elastic thing because that was just to put the wig together while it was being shipped so you just cut that out and then you just clip it on because like i showed you guys in the beginning comes with small clips i wore this wig the entire week i installed it and i could also have it in different styles so i had it in a middle part and i had it in a side part like both sides so so it's really easy quick and go and also for your hair i didn't go in with a straightener i went in with just a hot comb obviously if you want a better blend depending on your hair texture you ha you can get like different textures from love me they have different textures they have um kinky kinky straight they have body wave they have deep wave they have different textures so if you want it to blend well with your hair like better with your hair then you get a texture that can blend well i wanted a straight one for my next one i probably would get a kinky straight because i feel like that would also like blending more with my natural hair texture but yeah I didn't also want to put like a straightener on my hair. So that's the reason why I just used a hot comb and it worked perfect. It blended well. For the first install, I also wanted to do like a really simple style as well because I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like I said, my hair is really fine and I've never had my hair out like this. I really am anxious to like experiment more with my hair. I'm always so scared to experiment with my natural hair because obviously it is fine. It has always been like this. I have had really thin hair growing up. So touching my hair too much for me is doing too much because i feel like if i touch it too much it's just going to fall off like all the hair will fall off and i'll be bald so i just always don't touch it but yeah i really love this wig i'm going to link everything that you need in the description box below so go ahead and check that out make sure you shop with love me hair i've told you guys a million times on my channel this is my top 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 uh, hair company for you to get wigs from okay now thank you guys so much and let's get right into the video so hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel i definitely need <laughs> a chapstick or i need some sort of lip thing because i got up like a few minutes ago i brush my teeth and i definitely need a little something for moisture this is going to be a weekend reset vlog but last week i was out of it due to some reasons i didn't even work the whole of last week i had some personal things that i had to deal with so i just was off for a week so now i'm slowly getting back into the thing the groove of things or the groove of life so this week i'm going back to work everything is back to as scheduled basically so i need some type of reset i have been taking my entire like how do i put it i took my entire week to relax and get my life together but now i'm better i'm like you know trying to really get back to my routine so i need some type of day to reset like and start my week if that makes sense and this is what i would usually do when you know something like this happens so i got my hair done i this is my first hybrid sewing and my first overall sewing in a very very long time i think the last time i had a sewing was probably 2015 2014 it's been a long time i've been rocking wigs and braids or well, even the braids i just go back to it like i want to say last year or the year before 
but yeah i've been working wigs and braids and all that stuff so this is like my official like first time doing sewing in a long time and i went in deep i got a hybrid sewing a hybrid sewing mean at the back i have um a regular sewing like half of my head it's a re regular sewing and then the front of it is tapered i absolutely love it like i love 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 it i look you know so good with it i have i'm here to style it or do anything with it i just got it installed like two days ago because obviously today is sunday because this is a sunday reset vlog um so i'm here to style it or anything i am just waiting obviously for the week i just have it like in a regular side part so, so it just kind of lo looks so natural which is what i was going for i just i'm um, taking a break from wigs for now so i decided to get it sewing so for the next like couple weeks i'm going to be on this hairstyle i'm just going to try my best to make it as versatile as possible first thing i want to do is i have a video that is going up today sunday so i have my laptop here I'm about to sit on this desk and make sure that that actually is scheduled to go up today at 5 p.m ct um or 5 30 ct and also uh I need to go to the gym. I already had my L glutamine this morning on an empty stomach, and I also have my green juice here. Celery is the main ingredient, and then I have um, what else? I have green apples, I have a lot of ginger, I have black pepper, and then I have cucumber. I'm gonna have this on an empty stomach. I like to do this first thing when i wake up and also last thing before i go to bed she's been cleansing me out this entire week and i love that so yeah that's the first thing i'm gonna do just finish editing i'm done editing i just need to do like the final touches and then schedule it up to be uploaded then we could go in with the rest of like cleaning my apartment not cleaning because pretty much my apartment stays clean the entire week I just need to vacuum and do a couple things here and there, change my sheets, for instance, because it's a new week, and then, you know, put clothes in the dry in the washer and stuff. There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting for you to step into it. Everything you try to do is already done. So when I figured that out, oh, what I'm putting out is what's coming back. Let me get real clear about what it is I'm putting out. Real clear. The intention with which you give, the intention with which you serve, determines the outcome. So it is my intention, my intention to fulfill the dream of the Creator. It is my intention to live to the highest calling and be pressed to the mark of the highest calling that I have come to do. And when you can ask the Creator, ask that which made you you, what is your dream for me? I guarantee you, instead of you trying to define the dream, what is your dream for me? If you're able to lean into the dream that the universe and all the forces of, 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 of light and love and power and grace by all the names that we call God has for you, nobody can touch you. There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting for you to step into it to step into it your life is big your life is huge and we spend so much time wanting to be in somebody else's life and you don't get honored you don't get revered you don't get celebrating wanting what somebody else has because that which created you, divine intelligence that dreamed you from before your ancestors ever knew they would become your ancestors, that which dreamed the seed of you wants you to know how special, how wondrous, how mysterious, how complex, how glorious, how phenomenal you are. And you get no credit 
messing in somebody else's territory or trying to have power over something you have no control. You get to be the master of your own fate. You get to be the captain of your own soul. And if you just manage that, if you just took care of your territory, oh, the glorious, 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 wondrous, wondrous opportunities and possibilities that are waiting for you. So the question is, what are you resisting? What are you pushing against? What are you not allowing? What are you blocking? Because you have this idea of who and what you're supposed to be instead of leaning into the dream that's already been created and waiting for you. It's waiting for you. And the second, I mean, it doesn't, it's an instant thing. It's a shift in the way you see yourself and the power from which you have come. You're still here. And you get another chance this day to do better and be better. Another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. Everyone in the world is capable of living outside the role or beyond the roles that they place themselves in, no matter what it is. You're not just a dad. You're not just a banker. You're not just a brother or a son or a convict. It doesn't matter. Like, everyone is bigger, much bigger, infinitely bigger than the roles they place themselves in and is capable of reaching potential greater than anything they could imagine. the life you desire. It's right there in front of you. But in order to achieve it, you must first see it, then believe it, and then you must graciously ask and train your brain to help you execute your vision. So when you start to focus and you delete distraction from your life and you start to get seriously invested in doing one thing staggeringly well and you practice that one thing over and over, a term to think about is mundanity. You do one simple, seemingly insignificant thing every day around your main skill, and it's very mundane, but small daily improvements over time lead to world-class results. Well, here's what happens in your brain. You start to isolate a single neuro circuit around that skill, and that starts to trigger a certain type of brain cell called an oligodendrocyte, which then releases myelin. Myelin is a fatty tissue that starts to wrap around that cell single neuro circuit related to that main skill you've been practicing and when myelin starts to wrap around the brain circuit what happens is you have accelerated learning times you can see more quickly heightened perception and you'll learn more quickly and that is really the quote-unquote secret of the great producers it's not a result of some natural gift but their daily practice their relentlessness and their grit their work ethic and their singular focus and sacrifice a great life is built not by revolution a great life is built by evolution Small and steady wins the race. What you do every day is far more important than what you do once every decade. I want you to really think about that idea. What you do every day is simply your life in miniature. And as you live every single day, so you're crafting your life. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get every single pocket of 24 hours right as best as we humanly can, the rest of our life is going to take care of itself. So small wins matter. The scripture says we will eat the fruit of our words. You are planting seeds when you talk. 
At some point, you're going to eat that fruit. My challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. So you guys, I'm about to eat. This is my food right here. I have eggs and I also have um, fish, leftover fish that I made a few days ago. So I'm about to sit here watch some netflix eat this meal and just kind of relax because i really haven't had the time to just relax all day and it's already dark outside but yeah it's past 6 p.m right now so it's pretty dark for 6 p.m it's usually like brighter than this but i don't know why it's like this right now you know what's crazy i was going to talk to you guys about the fact that i really wanted to take a shower first before i like speak to you guys i just was so tired after the gym and so hungry as well because i've not had anything to eat except for like the juice i'm really hungry the only thing i can think about right now is food and that's what i'm gonna do so you guys it's been i think like two three hours <laughs> right now it's um past midnight it's about four minutes past midnight changed into my pajamas and obviously put like a bonnet <laughs> my granny bonnet and everything i've been watching this series called outer banks i started it like i'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like this is it so i started it like i want to say two years ago i started it on probably Thursday or Friday and uh, I just got into season two that's how good it is like to me like I really really love it so that's what I've been doing and also trying to catch up on work before Monday which is so toxic but every time I'm out of office for like a few days to a week or anything before I get back the Monday or the next day I always just want to get myself like acquainted with what i missed or work or like the things that i i always just check my emails let me just put like i check my emails and kind of catch up on work a little bit before i resume work because well a day before i resume work because i have anxiety of like what to expect like what did i miss like especially when i've been gone for one week one week is a long time to be off work i checked my emails and it was <laughs> it was terrible it was a mess it's about 200 and something emails almost 300 emails and i went through all of that while i was watching the series and i also kind of responded to some people did some work and all that i'm still going to do a little bit because i just want to go through my tasks and see what i need to do tomorrow right which i know i shouldn't be doing because it's past me that i should be sleeping right now i even have a slight headache but that's because i think i didn't drink a lot of water today so I'm just upping on that like I've been drinking water I know the headache is going to go I've just not been good with water today but yeah that's what I've been doing now I'm the first episode of season two it has three seasons and I'm so glad for that because that will kind of keep me occupied the rest of the week I hope I don't finish it on time I don't think I will because obviously I'll be watching it like after work and when I'm obviously when I'm free after work but yeah i'm just going to go through that like go through what's left of work like what i need to touch on and again i know that's toxic to be doing this but it's my anxiety like i always like to check and see what i missed and what needs to be done before i get into work i always feel like if i when i take holidays and come back there's like fire was burning somewhere to get i also am anxious what my <laughs> what my um outcome would be with my stakeholders from tomorrow like i just hope there's i can see from the emails that I put, there's there's a lot to do this week at work so i'm going to be pretty busy by the time i'm done talking to you guys i'm going to turn off all the lights because yeah i'm already like i'm ready to go to sleep right now 
and I'm also going to keep this on. <sighs> it's good. Like, the series is good. Like, I've been seeing it, and I just kind of, you know, them teenage type of movies that or series i just overlooked them because i'm really not that type but this one is good i like it there are twists and tons and stuff and i really like it but anyway let me just shut up right now because i feel like i'm talking too much um i hope you guys enjoy the vlog it was just like a little reset i really had a productive day today subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed follow me on instagram tiktok that's going to be linked in the description box below Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, and you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now because we're about to go in. Hey.